So here we got Nic uh, Nicola. Ni uh, uh, my tongue's tied. <laughs> that is my name. Nicky from Dudley calls. Dippers. <laughs> Hello. Please like and subscribe to their channel. Come along to the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is Shall again. Be wrinkles. <laughs> it is again. That was a nice class. That was nice. And Nigel Lamford, no offence, magnets. Got no bogeys, have I? <laughs> <laughs> have a look. Come here. Let's have a look. <laughs> Anne Marie, um, let's go along. <laughs> so nice day. We've got lots of uh, lots of people with us. All right. There's Aaron, the monster. Never too heavy, never too heavy. <laughs> I'll take you down here, guys. We've got some more. It's a lovely bit of canal, so a damn good clean up, anyway. Lots of scrap coming out. Have we got the one and only Josh Shivita? Magnetised? Proper cannon. <laughs> it is an all, I know. Feel like I'm on Espresso Star or something. Posh. <laughs> Very posh. Please like and subscribe to Magnetised, um, yeah, Brewing Channel. We're not as good as him, but try, try <laughs> to keep you entertained. You are. You're a good lad, Joe. There's Rob Eavecock, Dippers and Scrappers. Shift your scrap. Shift your scrap. <laughs> and uh, he's got a Facebook group, guys, so there's no excuse for leaving any scrap. So um, have a check out of that. Oh. Here he is, <laughs> Mr Nuts. Don't forget, check out Dippers Identify. Dippers Tell Identify. You, uh, sign up to that page. Keep everybody safe on the water side. That's and, right. Uh, don't forget me as well. And Rusty Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and I say it's Anne Marie. Anne Marie. <laughs> and also, uh, if you want to turn around, Steve, a uh, big shout out to the Outcast family, Outcast Radio, Now Barrels Radio Station, which are our sponsors. And they do amazing work for charity. Absolutely brilliant. SJ and Cliff, Christ from Colorado. So uh, I bet they're getting the sunshine a bit more than us today, but you know. It's probably cold there. over there, isn't it, actually, <laughs> isn't that? Probably two foot of snow. Is it? Cliff, let me know. It's probably some, still some snow on the ground. But so, yeah, we'll have a good clear up, guys, and uh, there's bits and bobs coming out. So, when we find something half decent, I shall uh, come back to you guys. That'd be no good now, would it? <laughs> Is it Evo. really good? Evo, you're You're really struggling now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Get off the wheel. Sugar pot. Toya, little wheel, that's Oh, 
tell you what, would you put that in for that horse as well? The most oh, amazing me. bit of <laughs> <laughs> okay. the best bit was when we thought we'll just put it on the axle. Oh, and Dave, get throw in it. the magnet. Lift it out. out it's a nice thought. Attendance for a badge. Oh, <laughs> Have I got that off you? That. Have I got that off you for turning up with you? It's been on the other you can get out on your own. <laughs> there we go. TV stand, TV stand there, guys. And Set of bike forks. Nigel Lamford has actually granted my, me my 100% uh, attendance, <laughs> as you can see there. So, if you've lost your boot, we've got it. I dare say it's not going to be the last one that comes out today. There's a front of a radio. Couple of bits of scrap there, guys. That looks like it's off um, one of the Uvers, the motor part. We can't go anywhere without one of these. Chav can. And whatever that is. Looks like it's to an aerial, which leads me to an aerial. <laughs> There we go. And the cow's coming off. Pull that out guys, don't know that it's a seat or... Because Nigel no, said a footrest, so... Let's go. It's like one of the modern... Cobbler glass, isn't it? I don't know. Weird. That's a bit random guys, there you go. I found a key ring with loud zips on them. Now, I'm going to key them because now I'm all up them rare zips. <laughs> Let's go set to saw. It's just that I'll probably uh, break my neck doing it. Here he comes, see, he's a rider. <laughs> Don't ride the test room, Yeah. I think it's a trailer. Oh, nice. There you go. Here right. comes the 200 again. Look at that. And a spoon. Look at that. What a noise is it? No, it's fouled up one anyway. Yeah. I think it's 200's. Got something. With knives and guns and all that kind of stuff. That's all it ever goes for. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. So, vertical. It's not been in there long. Even the sun's gleaming off it. Well, I found a gun, but it's a, a staple gun. <laughs> <laughs> gun's a gun. That's it, a gun's a gun, ain't it? A gun's a good one. Grill, I think, yeah. Oh, still got the uh, nuts in as well. Ratchet. Is that an exhaust, Claire? No, it's exhaust. You rubber. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Load of spanners. That's mad, they've all come up together. But I think because they're all fused together, I think. But yeah, they're all fused together. But uh, you know, Glenn might want to keep them. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, get them all past. Snap on. British. Can't see. Brit. Brit Summit. Brit off. Brit all. Oh, nice. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. My, my grand died in the Brittle factory. Really? Yeah, she, she worked with uh, Brittle. Yeah. With my dad. They both worked in the factory down at um, Bushbury. Oh. And um, my granddad had a heart attack at work. And my dad, she died in my dad's arms there. Did it work as well? Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's just pull it uh, as a side burner phone. Does that not like it? Oh, knock ya. Here we go. Right. Padlock and chain. Obviously the chain's been cut. I wonder what they've took. More tin or tea. Yeah, we'll take them back to the chair. Have a seat. Have a seat. Did she show? Good nick as well. Here's all the little insects. Yeah, the baby crazy. Is there any of these? The baby crazy. Baby crazy. Yeah, baby crazy. You want to wipe it off and put it back in the water? Just the little baby crazy. They are invasive species. Yeah. Get on! Go! Actually, they ain't them, they're my silverfish. Am I? Yeah, they're silverfish. Actually, no, no, they are crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. But if you don't chuck them in, then they are our native species. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah. That's the trouble, isn't it? Real the record. Oh, I've got the tape. <laughs> the best of Irish in the world ever. There you go. Bit of Irish. Bit of Irish there. And pulled out. Start motor off a car. And I think you put me on the car. Warning sign. I think you break down. I'm a little up there. I'll have to take off of this. What? Oh, that's really funny. Minus tag as well. Yes. Never. So, guys, just found a minus tag and a cute little pepper pot. I don't know what they've been sprinkling out of here, but there you go. Little pepper pot and a little minus tag, so love these minus tags. Love a little minus tag. Look at that. Look at that. Cute, isn't it? That's tiny, that. That's full size to me, that is. I was just about. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit, yeah, I'll give you a nicker. That's, <laughs> that's a flower vase for you, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I bought you a new house, Nicky, as well, on me. What? My mum was getting rid of an old doll's house, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, dear. Thanks I was just about to get rid of all my bottle collection as well. Nice. Nicola, did you pull out the shovel? <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that a miner's tag? Yeah, a little miner's tag. It is, yeah. The amount of time I pulled out years ago, like when I threw them all away. Really collectible now. They are, yeah. I pulled out that earlier. A little cat. But it's got a USB there. 
So, little speaker or something, but Nigel let me have a go with his Evolution Extreme. Wow. And uh, digs down deep into the silt. Managed to pull this out of the silt. And it's a Victorian grinder. Mincer. Oh, Mincer, sorry. <laughs> grinder, is it? Uh, Victorian Mincer. So, yeah, pulled that right out of the silt. Oh, brilliant magnets. Nice volume. That give us a fright then, Reed just pulled that up. It's the top of the fence. <laughs> yeah, it's the ball off the, the top of the fence. What the? Why would you have them up? Why is that magnetic? Is that one of those coin things? I was thinking that at first, day, but... Oh, you back Pull that out, and it opens up, so I don't know what it is. What, stolen? When you like opening things. Can we try opening it for you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's um, drill bits for it. Yeah, I'll show you. It's a box of drill bits, guys. I'm reading now. There you go. You see who does the DIY? Yeah, they're coming handy now. That's full. Drill bits, then we'll do one of them. A piece of glass, one of them, and it carries on. That's one of them. I want to know what it was until Marie bought one down the one day. She went out on her own with Audrey Perry. I was ill with my leg. And uh, come back with a graduate to be back on the night. Oh, yeah. It's nice, though. That's what I saw, eh? I saw that coming. Well, it's double edged. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Oh, I know, no, this Steve will tell you. Ah. Good gun. I've got a side pocket today, and that's a second gun you've got. Not proper gun, have I? No. <laughs> Your thing, yeah, oh, you've another bit? Yeah, you've got one as well. I knew there was more in there, mate. Yeah, I kept, kept feeling them. Oh, that's from a pile on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's I from up with them. That. I thought that was a pin name. No, I was not it? Didn't it? <laughs> so, personally, purse for the garden. Random piece of scrap. Meet you downstairs in the bar in her My rolled up sleeves in my old skull t-shirt I said why did you do it with him today and sniffed you out like you would tango ray Cause I'm your fella, your guy Hand you my Stella and fly By the time we go out the door I tear man down like Roger Moore You cheated yourself Like I know you were You told me you were trouble I know, should know good. There you go guys, it's a foot peg off an old telegraph pole. So, should keep that and clean it up I think. Let's go and have a look at Glenn, he's got a bag. Anything in there, babe? <laughs> look! What you got? Mechanism to a, some kind of gun. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Boom! Woohoo! You know, there's more than one shotgun in there. 
Another one then, but Nicky's had. Yeah. yeah. So that's a mechanism to uh, shock That's a mechanism to I'll clean it up and I'll show you. Wow. So, found the golf club. Woohoo! And believe it or not, it's a corner rider. rider. <laughs> there you go, I don't want it. Another staple gun. It's a white lock. Stop it where it's been cut. Lovely mud. Watch it on the swing behind you. Hello guys, um, yeah, Peaky Dippers, and we went out with Nicola Jones, Rusty Nuts, Nigel Lamford, Joe Civita, Aaron Jones, his son AJ, who else was up around? Uh, Jabba. Jabba and Rocky Fish. Rocky Fish. Big group of us, I'm trying to remember who I'm was sure there. I'm left somebody out. <laughs> If we've got, if we've got somebody, I, I do apologise, but there's that many people there there was. It was all <laughs> nicely done and safely, and we had a brilliant day, red hot. You did say Joe Civita, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Joe Civita. Anyway, so, for the record, we're just going to do some finds of that day. I've got what a, two or three nice finds I'll probably keep, all the rest of them, just I'll show you them anyway. So, there's a the record. I'm going to do something with that. Marie's going to do something with that, so... We'll keep it I, wonder, I wonder what I wonder what record it is. I don't know. Not it's, a very good record. It could always break record. Ha 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 ha. Right, there onto the uh <laughs> found a little speaker. No good for nothing. That'll just go in the bin. It's plastic and it's got electrics in it and I dread to think when it's dripping all over the table. Little spanner. So there you go, little tap and die. Screwdriver, always oh, going useful. As soon as you chuck one, you need it. Little key, a big spanner, a burner phone. Marie found a little fishing knife. There you go. Mm -hmm. Some nice little saw blades on there, so it's not going to be useful. Nice shiny one. Yeah, wait, well, you now cleaned it up. Um, if anyone can let me know why these go like this, why somebody's brought them on a keyring, please let me know. I don't understand it, but uh, lots of zips on a keyring. One, two, three, four, five zips. Weird. So let me know, guys, if that's a a gang thing or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, did you show this? Oh, little pepper pot. But oh, did I find that? I did, didn't I? Um, little pepper pot. Oh, yeah, I did. I found that little pepper pot. There you go. That's a little diddy thing. Probably never had no pepper in it, but there we go. Um, Marie found this and thought it was a jewelry box, but it's not. It's just uh, bits off a screwdriver. But they'll always come in use, like that as well. So I'll go in my shed. A uh, little bracelet, which I've still got to clean off. It's not gold, it's stuck to the magnet. So that'll just be cleaned up and I'll probably hang it outside on something. We've got a knife, a fork, a fork and a spoon. And for the dive where I went out uh, with Nigel Lamford, I got 100% attendance. So, yeah, there you go. You'll have to save that for somebody. <laughs> for her? I don't know, whoever comes every week. Yeah. 100% Well, I would have done if the, bad, the, the needle had dropped off the back of it. Oh, okay. Then we've got... Um, we cover the phone number up. We've got uh, some hotel keys. There we go. I'm not going to show the name too much, but there you go. So some hotel keys, obviously a local number. So I'll try and find them up and we'll see whether we can get them back to them. Um, the most interesting finds I think we had for that day, um, there's a foot peg to uh, the telegraph poles, which are becoming more rarer, guys. I mean, like, once some wooden poles are down, then these will get chucked and, you know. But, we can make something together. You know what I mean? Picture frame or something. A little hedgehog door. Or a hedgehog door. Well, there's something we've, we're really getting into repurposing stuff now. There's a good old school G-clamp thing there. 
and it still works, I couldn't believe it. So that all works, I should just spray paint it up and drop forged. Yeah, so yeah, I, I've got no company name on it, I don't think. I can see India, so I'm, I'm imagining it's not an expensive thing, but there you go anyway. And we found a shotgun mechanism. Boom, I was well happy when this come up on my magnet. Um, check everyone else's videos out guys, it'll be surprising how many of these we found. Um, but I'm the only one that found the one with a flint. It's a, it's a reproduction flint, it's not a proper old powder rifle. But it's, a, it's a reproduction one, so it's a real shotgun but this would have hit the hammer and then hit the hammer to fire the, the bullet. There you go. Can't see our markings as yet. And I don't want to clean it up too much because you can take too much history off them. So I'll keep examining that. But there you go, off a shotgun. Boom, I love it. There's the trigger, double triggered for the double for the uh, mm. double barrel. And my favourite find, to be honest with you, is this. Is what I thought was a meat grinder is actually a coffee grinder. So this would have been on a on a ledge like that, clamped on, or something like that. Then there'd have been something here, because it might in England. It's nice writing on it, isn't it? Yeah, there's some writing here, which gives me the clue to what it was. England, and here you won't see, but it does say Spong and Cow Limited. Spong and Cow didn't do meat grinders, they done coffee grinders. So that is actually a Victorian coffee grinder. I pulled that out of the silt with uh, Nigel's new Evil, Evil Extreme. The Evolution Extreme, pulled yeah. that out, yeah. And uh, it was black when it came out. Yeah, well you'll see yeah. it on the video guys how bad that was. I have cleaned it up, but this is going to be a refurbished job. I'm going to fully refurbish this. And I think they came in reds and I think they came in black, but I do everything in black. So I might do this one in red. Oh, nice. And I'm going to try and get this angle nice mm. and dried out. But yeah, you can see how it's come on. I don't know if I'll ever get it work in order, but it'll just look nice. Can, you know? I, can I have a look down the spout? Well, I've cleaned out the spout as much as I can. I don't think you see down here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but guys, uh, there you go. So I was looking at some of the prices of these the other day and I was all watering. Uh, depends which make you've got. But yeah, a uh, bit of history there. So that's when coffee was very, very sought after and it was a luxury. So, uh, yeah, that's back in the day. I mean, you can get coffee now, 10 to the penny. So, yeah, um, that's all the finds of our adventure, guys. Um, we're going somewhere good next week. So, uh, look out for that video. Please like and subscribe to Peaky Dippers, guys. We've got some good stuff coming up. And a uh, big shout out to the Outcast Radio, SJ and Cliff Christ from Colorado. Absolutely brilliant people, brilliant sponsors, proud to be part of it. And um, yeah, just like, subscribe to us and you'll get all the links. I'm going to get all the pictures put up of this stuff, the old stuff, when it's all cleaned up and restored. I'll put it on YouTube community or you'll see it on my Facebook, depending on what you're on. So um, all stay safe, guys. Thank you for joining us on this adventure again. And uh, by order of the Peaky Dippers, look after yourselves. I'll see you soon.